Here, we're going to take a jump cut. Um, long story, but I had to watch the Mexican broadcast because the American version on ESPN Plus had cut out. So let's take a little jump cut. Hold on, we're jumping around a lot. Referee is counting. 42 seconds left in the last round. Jorge Linares has been dropped and... Oh, he's about to go down again. It's over. It's over. It's over. You know something? I had a feeling. Hey, let me mute this. I had a feeling that this was going to happen. You know, this is ideal territory and scenario for Jorge Linares to be knocked out. Fighting in Russia on some obscure card against another guy. Both of them um, lost to Devin Haney. Abdul I Abduliev, him right there, he was knocked out by Haney. Jorge Linares had buzzed Haney, had Haney asking him, you know, did you feel my power? Here's the stoppage. Down three times in round number 12 in a fight where he controlled the first half of the fight. But in Jorge Linares fashion, he will get his ass knocked out. Because he will not clinch, he won't hold, he will get stopped. I am history controversy with Fight View 360. We cover every major fight live. Back, I guess you can say I'm back full time in my season premiere. Um, both of these fighters were in today. Uh, WBC eliminator to be the mandatory again for Devin Haney. Jorge Linares wasn't a mandatory for Devin Haney, was he? I don't remember, but I do know Abduliev was Haney's mandatory. In an, or was it an eliminator before Haney got the belt? I don't remember, but either way, he fought both of these guys and he beat both of them convincingly. And now Abduliev is the mandatory again for Devin Haney, which is a fight I don't want to see. So Devin Haney's already in some trouble. Jorge Linares is finished, by the way. Because Devin Haney is not going to be getting Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney is not going to be getting Lomachenko or Cambosos as in the previous video I did before that. Me and my colleague Big J talked about how they are entering into heavily rumored that Loma and Cambosos are going to be fighting in a two-fight deal. So the options for Devin Haney are extremely limited. And if he continues to fight at 135 pounds, the next fighter he fights is not going to be somebody that we want to see. So, you know, I don't want to see him against Abduliev again. I don't want to see a Haney versus Abduliev too. There's no unifications he can go for to avoid this fight. So I'm just going to say Devin Haney needs to move up to 140, drop that belt. That 140, that 135 belt doesn't mean anything anyway. And also, you know, he's been talking about moving up for quite some time. Here's the stoppage. By the way, kind of a bizarre broadcast. The commentator, dude, I'm not going to give him too much shit, you know, but kind of a bizarre broadcast. And I've been here watching this shit since 9.30 a.m. It's 1.11. Crazy. So let's see if we get a post-fight interview, which I highly doubt, because, you know, when they go on commercial break, they like to uh, uh, mute the audio. But also, during the last round, right? During the last round, in between round 11 and before round 12 started, the ESPN Plus stream cut out. So I was panicking a little bit. So I said, let me try the Spanish broadcast. And that's how I'm able to watch this last round. Because I ain't going to lie. I said, listen, I ain't sitting here for all these fucking hours. and not going to be able to cover the fight. So I started looking for, for, for illegal pirated streams and shit. You know? Like, bro, I pay for this service to be able to watch this shit. And you cutting out on me in the last round? Like, no. Like, no. That's no. I have a right to be upset. Anyway, let's listen to the particulars. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and teach controversy with Fight 360. 30 seconds left. I want to see the scorecard. I want to see the scorecards. Let's see if he gets a post-fight interview, but I doubt knowing this 
they're going to um, translate it for us. Also, in some other news, Jorge Linares has signed the three-fight deal with this RCC boxing. I've covered events for them before in the past. So he's not with Golden Boy. He signed with them. He's got two fights left on that deal. Interesting. And I wonder, where does he go from here? Like, to me, he's done. You know, to me, he's done. Here are the rankings, by the way, at 135 pounds. Here is uh, Abduliev. The rankings haven't been updated yet. And here is Linares. So I don't know if they had a higher ranking um, after the day because our rankings were last updated for the WBC February the 3rd. All right, so these are current. So I'm guessing the update is in progress. But, you know, ugly situation for Linares. Let me skim through this here, this broadcast, to see if there's any, you know, post-fight interview. No, nope, that's it. That's the that's the broadcast. That's it. That's it. But yeah, man, ESPN, they gotta get it together. And it was it, it, it there was multiple issues with the the broadcast, not the stream until the end when it completely cut out. But you know, like whoever was overlooking everything, like, you know, coming back before fights, you know, after the um announcement of, of who won was over, you know, the commercial breaks were a little jarring, like they're just straight cut off. And just, you know, like get it together, ESPN Plus. I'm happy that we got to, to watch the fight legally, but still. And as far as Jorge Linares, like, yo, he's done. And I don't want to see Devin Haney versus um Zaire Abaduliev too. Like, no, Devin Haney, from the way things are looking, he might as well just move up. Like, just just drop that belt. Follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. Our website, FightView360.com, has the rankings up, updated accordingly with the sanctioning bodies. And I'm going to get out of here. We will see you guys later. Please subscribe.